Got to get you up to speed this morning. Yeah, traffic with Miss Vanessa. A lot of people already hitting the roads for the holiday. Yeah. How's it looking out there? Yeah, and a lot of, you know, the kids are out of school. A lot of people already have the days off. They took the week off, so not a lot going on at this time. We have a lot of green on our maps. East Valley, you have great driving conditions. Nothing to worry about at this time. And then for the West Valley, we do see some traffic on Grand near Indian School, Glenda, and a little bit past the Loop 101 in the Sun City area. So that's the only issue you have to worry about at this moment. I'll keep you updated what's going on with um, if any other accidents pop up and my future report. Jimmy? Well, it is going to start out chilly for this morning. Oh, we'll need the jackets. It, I'm not complaining. I love it. Went out last night to walk the dog uh, with a nice jacket and shorts, kind of to feel them both. And uh, we could really feel it uh, last night. This morning, though, Flagstaff, 16 degrees. I felt that last Friday. Uh, really need to bundle up there. Sholo 23, pacing a little better at 43 degrees. Prescott 30 and about 52 here in Phoenix, but the outlying areas will be much cooler. Look for a high temperature today of 76 degrees, starting out chilly when we come back. There's a lot happening this weekend, including this week, including Turkey Tuesday and Thanksgiving. I'll have that forecast in the seven day. Yeah, quite the cool down, Jimmy Q. All right, thanks. 501 and developing this morning, new video from a drone showing the devastation left behind by the campfire in California. Can you guys believe this? Remarkably, there's still no end in sight with officials saying it's still just two thirds contained. This as we're learning, there are nearly a thousand people unaccounted for. Team 12's Adam Bagney joins us now live. And Adam, why are there still so many people missing? Uh, well, the answer to that, guys, is they still have to go through all of this rubble. You can't over-exaggerate, really, the impact of these fires. Entire towns, guys, have been destroyed. 993 people are still missing, and that death toll, which is now at 77, unfortunately, continues to rise. As you mentioned, take a look at this drone video. This is what the campfire has left behind, guys. There isn't even rubble where a lot of these structures once stood. And for those who escaped with their lives, they're grateful, but in many cases, they still lost everything. Hundreds of evacuees have actually created a camp. You see at a Walmart there in Chico, California. This is vigils and funerals have been held daily throughout the state. Meantime, over the weekend, President Trump visited the region. He's faced a lot of controversy for blaming forest management for the fire, which local officials say is not accurate. But the president called the scene there devastating. It's very sad to see it. As far as the lives are concerned, uh, nobody knows quite yet. We're up to a certain number, but we have a lot of people that aren't accounted for. No one knows what to do. We're all living minute by minute out here. Two weeks ago, these people had their lives and they were going about their days, everyday uh, normal activities, just like we were. And guys, fire officials say they are committed to going block by block, house by house, in an attempt to recover as many victims as possible. And with a thousand people missing, guys, you can imagine that is a Herculean task. But firefighters say they are committed to it, guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I grew up in California, Adam, so I'm used to hearing about these fires, but 77 people dead. Just Not like this. Never. No. Nothing like that. No. We're going to have much more on this developing story all morning long, plus Look for live reports from the Today Show. That's coming up. We're going to be in Paradise, California. That's right after our show at 7 a.m. Here's what else is making headlines this morning. Tempers flare near the U.S.-Mexico border where hundreds of people protested the wave of Central American migrants seeking asylum. People gathered in Tijuana waving Mexican flags and singing their national anthem. Protesters complained that the migrant caravan forced its way into Mexico, calling it an invasion. U.S. border inspectors are processing only about 100 asylum claims a day at Tijuana's main crossing to San Diego. Well, that's a wrap. Nearly two weeks after the polls close on Decision 2018, the final ballots are being counted now. Maricopa County recorder Adrian Fontes posting this on Facebook yesterday saying, quote, we are close to closing out our election. This is two weeks after everyone. He postponed releasing election results yesterday, though, in hopes of having final results later on today. We'll keep you posted. A grocery store standoff in the high country. 54 year old Randy Crosno was arrested outside of a Sprout store in Prescott Saturday night after leading officers on a high speed chase. It started as a traffic stop, but Crosno tried to then take off, then pulled a gun and told deputies he's not going back to prison. Eventually he was arrested. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused a plane to crash into Lake Pleasant. The single engine plane fell out of the sky Saturday afternoon. Two men were on the plane at the time. 
Both escaped with minor injuries. ASU police announcing a brand new member to its pack. Meet Dutch, the department's first emotional support dog. ASU police, one of the first university police departments in the nation to use a support dog. Dutch's goal will be to help victims feel more at ease speaking with police officers. He'll also help students in distress during exam weeks, but first he's got to go through some training. Oh Cutie gosh, pie. Really cute.